welcome back to the video guys finally we're gonna be doing some indian chief content it's been a little wrapped up with a few things um if you are not aware and if you're new to the channel this is my indian chief for the next month and a half or so um inside here we got my harley davidson rogue glide and my lowrider s and the iron 883 which i sold picking it up soon but yeah um super super happy to have this bike in the stable um huge fan of this bike um loved 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 riding this bike out in arizona last year uh when i went out to that uh indian press event um amazing fell in love with the bike and i'm just super happy to have it here so yes it is a loner um indian sent it to me for about a month or two around two months and um yeah we gotta create some content this is gonna be the first one of the week next week i plan out to roll out a few more videos and then eventually what i want to do is also put it up against my low rider ass right there a uh, nice little side by side comparison because this this kind of like the bike you would kind of put it next to it either that or a street bob um but yeah so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna get on the road and what i want to talk about is how good the indian chief is we're gonna go over a few little factors uh good things bad things whatever they are um so sit back and enjoy the video. I love that. <laughs> Absolutely love that. These are stock pipes, so they're not gonna sound as great. But for them being stock pipes, they have a little rumble to them. Sounds pretty good. Alright, really quick. Let's um let's put this on standard mode. I love the screen because touch screen, got my gloves on, I'm still able to play around with it. Got my gauges right here. See everything right here. Outside temperature, which is amazing. Battery life, um, fuel economy, fuel range. Um, if I want to link up my Bluetooth uh, for music, my phone, um, my ride, my ride time, moving, stop time, elevation, distance. A lot of stuff jam packed into this little uh, foreign screen right here, which is pretty cool, man. Ooh, <laughs> how can we forget? GPS, which is amazing, amazing, amazing. I love that about it. But let's um, let's put it on sport mode just because why not? This bike on sport mode, let me tell you, it's a beast, man. So you got the 116 on here. This is the dark horse. So obviously a dark horse, having out everything blacked out, really, really nice and clean. I gotta tell you something right now. You definitely need some type of step-up seat on this bike. Because the stock seat that it comes with, I'll be honest, it kind of sucks. It's very thin, a little hard. You know, I don't I don't see myself spending too much time on this. And then there's no back support, no nothing. Nothing holding you back. And when I tell you that, when you crank on this bike on the highway, a bike literally wants to launch you off when you're in sport mode. Only in sport mode. Standard, you're, 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 you're fine. On road mode, you're fine. But on sport mode, it just becomes a different beast and the bike just literally wants to launch you off and you literally need to hold on for dear life. Um, but it, it's a thrill and it's fun. But definitely adding a step-up seat to this bike will definitely make you feel a bit more comfortable uh, and let you be a bit more aggressive uh, with the bike. Just uh, the tech, man. I love the tech. That sounds pretty nice for these stock pipes. All right. So it gets pretty up to speed pretty fast, as you can see. And it feels good. And there's still power there. Right there in fourth gear, you want to pull away. Still a lot of power left. Super fun bike, man. Put it on standard, okay. Even the throttle response, I just noticed right now when I switched it to standard from sport, the throttle response, it's a lot more different. The power delivery as well. I, everything just changes dynamically right away. Super, super cool, man. Now, if you are interested in this bike and you are asking yourself if this bike is for you, what you need to ask yourself is, first of all, what do you want the bike for? 
because if it's for long distance I don't see it for that just due to the comfort um, when it comes to suspension it's not the most comfortable suspension it's good but it's nothing to brag about but it's definitely not something that you're gonna want to spend all day on I mean for that you're gonna want a tour model uh, there's the Indian Chieftain there is the Challenger for that now if you're looking for a type of bike that's uh, you want to go you know uh, cruising around town uh, something that you want for you know to ride on Sundays if that's the only day you're gonna be riding um, or just something you know to meet up with your friends to go for little rides here and there yeah this bike is perfect for you um, like I was saying before it's jam-packed with a bunch of tech and you're definitely not gonna get lost with that uh, turn by turn GPS which is pretty cool overall aesthetically um, I think the bike looks phenomenal um, really 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 nice design Indian did a great job when it came to the design of this bike a uh, nice slim tank is really nice i really like the back the way that back fender curves really nice right around that back tire um really cool bobber ish type of look looks really nice now there's one thing one little thing that i i don't know and i i i just don't know why but this happens you see this this the tank you're able to move it side to side a little bit not crazy but it moves and it's like why why would they do that and I, I I just don't get it. Just uh, I don't know. That's like my uh, my little pet peeve with this bike is that why would you do this on a production bike? They said it was something about being rubber mounted and everything, but I mean we could still rubber mount stuff down and not be able to do stuff like that. That just I don't know. The mirrors, I like the teardrop design. I think they look really nice. When it comes to controls and everything, you got your power button right here, your on and off switch. Um, your high beam, low beam over here to my left, your horn right there to your left, uh, your turn signals you got to a touch of one finger right here. Um, if you want to navigate and connect your phone to the tech, you could, you know, switch a few things around uh, while you're listening to your music on your uh, through your helmet. Um, and then on top of that, we got cruise control on here, which is a plus. So having cruise control on a bike like this is, is pretty cool, if you ask me. Pretty, pretty cool. Now, when it comes to ride comfort in the road riding triangle, uh, the bike is pretty comfortable. Um, the way my feet are, these are kind of like mid, a bit kind of mid four controls. They're not really mid mids or push a bit forward. So yeah, I'm um, a bit comfortable on here. Um, I'm 5'7", but if I am a taller guy, best believe that you might feel a bit scrunched up. Because as you can see right here, my knees are right there where the tank is at. Uh, so for you taller riders who are, you know, six feet and above, you might feel a bit scrunched up on here. Um, I haven't seen anyone do any four control switch anything's out on here. Pretty sure they could, um, but it, it it feels it feels good for me at least. Um, the whole bar setup feels really nice, um, real nice and organic. I have a nice little slight bend to my elbow right here. Um, I don't feel like I'm hunched over too much. Or I don't feel like I'm far uh, too far back either um, There's a bunch of companies aftermarket companies that already have different bar setups for these bikes, which is amazing um, They have a lot of cool stuff for these bike um, I've, I've, The things I've seen a few people do to these bikes man They make them look really 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 good. So if you're you know me for example, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the whole club style look um, and I like, you know, my fairing in the front. I, I, I love the whole clubs I look and the T-bar setup and the 201 pipe. And I've seen that bike built just like that. Um, and it looks great. It's tons and tons of stuff. So don't let anyone tell you, oh, yeah. You know, Harley-Davidson has all the aftermarket parts. And yes, Harley-Davidson does have pretty much every company doing stuff for them. Uh, but Indian does have a lot of companies out there that are making a lot of parts for this bike. So don't think that you're going to get this bike. You're not going to be able to kind of make this bike yours by adding your you know your own little touch here and there now if you are looking at this bike and you are maybe you know uh trying to decide what kind of bike you want you might be putting this bike up next to a street bob right or a low rider s like i have at home with that being said let me just tell you that the tech on this bike uh beats harley by a mile because uh, the street bob and the low rider s do not come with that type of tech 
Harley recently started doing the digital gauge on the new uh, Sportster S, um, but that's only on that bike for now. So the fact that Indian was, you know, has been doing this since a year ago already, it's pretty cool. Uh, but the tech by far um, is amazing, real easy to use, real user friendly. Um, the bike feels great. Tons and tons of power. Um, this bike is literally a torque monster. Going from standard to sport feels like you put in like a stage two on a street bob. Put it like that. It's the power is, is crazy, man. And it just wants to <laughs> it wants it wants to launch me back right away, man. It's a torque monster. Now, what's really cool about the Chief as well is that they make this Chief right here. They also make the Chief Bobber, uh, which comes with the little mini uh, A bars. And then they make the uh, Super Chief, which is like your, you know, it comes with the bags and everything. Um, so you have three different choices. One bike built into three different bikes, which is pretty cool. Okay. You got LED lighting in the front right there. Really nice. Now, one thing I don't like about this bike is just this little feature right here. Someone pointed it out. The, the video when I first picked up the bike, they pointed it out. They were like, hey, listen, your uh, the right turn snigel is, I think it's bent. And yeah, it, it is bent. But it's, it, I don't, I kind of don't like this because it's like kind of rubber mounted over here. Like it would have been nice if it was all in this type of material going on the forks. But the fact that it's kind of like rubberish plastic right here, I, I don't like that. It just... I don't know it just details like that little details like that so yeah you know the tank with the little tiny wobble right there the rubberish plastic feel right here um that kind of just like bothers me a little um i like the fender design in the front um the wheels are absolutely amazing i think really really nice design the whole design of the bike is beautiful. I love the fact that you're able to see the nice exposed frame running out throughout the whole bike. It's, it's pretty cool. The design of that motor is really, really nice. Attention to detail. Savage 1901. I, I like that, man. A lot of controversy with the 1901 since 1901. The Savage 1901. Uh, you know, due to the company being active, not being active for a few years. Um, you got their Indian logo right there as well. This is a demo bike, guys. So no, I didn't. I didn't do this. This bike, this bike came like this already, right? Even this. One reason why this is bent right here is because it's a demo bike. It's been, you know, taken all over the country, and it's uh, a lot of people have been on it and probably have dropped it and stuff. But yeah, the back fender, like I said, I like the way it just wraps around. Kind of hugs that tire but it's like really high though it's not like it's not pitted real down on the tire it's giving it like a give it gives a nice little gap it makes it look good it makes it look more aggressive um stopping power where brakes brakes are pretty good on this um it, it feels great no complaints there suspension like i said is it the best suspension no but it's 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 okay i mean that's why they say have to mark suspension um i swap out suspension on all my bikes um, so if this was my bike, I would be swapping the suspension out. Honestly, the suspension I hear is better than the Harley Davidson suspension. So I just went over that just to, just to test it out. This suspension is better than your stock Harley Davidson suspension. I'll tell you that. It, it, it feels like it absorbs more. Now, to answer everyone's question, how good is this bike? It's really good, and I like it. I really, really, really like it. This would be a bike that I would love to get, make a project out of it, build it out into a club style type of look, and you know, even do even with this power, I will still do some engine work to it. At least a stage one or stage two, um, and it just have fun with it, man. It, this bike is packed with lots of fun. Um, and the design department looks amazing. Uh, Power-wise, uh, there's a ton of that. And uh, a lot more to go around. Tech department, more than what you need, honestly. So overall, it's an amazing bike. 
really fun and I would definitely be looking at this bike if you are looking for this type of style this type of cruiser I would be definitely looking at this bike this will definitely be in my uh, top three if this is the type of bike you're looking for with that being said I think that kind of sums everything up um, if you want to see more content like this more chief content then there's going to be a lot more coming down the pipeline anything specific that you want to know about the chief that i didn't mention in today's video drop your thoughts and comments down below as well i'm really eager to hear back from you guys um on what you think about this bike make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell button that's going to notify you anytime i upload any type of new content and share the video guys you viewing and commenting and sharing this video is what allows me to do cool stuff like this like india motorcycle setting me this Indian Chief, amazing. <laughs> That's a me, man. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.